And welcome back guys to the LP of Blitzkrieg 1 As the Germans Moving on So the last time we owned this one little place At the very beginning of the game, not really Of the level that is, but again we're awesome So it's one understandable that we're gonna just Take and grab them by the balls and then kill them like bitches they are Moving on So uh, I don't remember what's happening now Okay, right, we, we have this squad here, so we need to see what's happening out there. We're gonna be moving a little bit close. Hopefully the enemy doesn't have any kind of defenses, so we're gonna take the warehouse, kill the warehouse. I don't know the point of it. I mean, all the warehouses in this game are the same. I don't know what the hell. Again, you don't get anything from just doing an objective. So reality-wise, you're screwed any good. So you're gonna lose probably more stuff than gain. Nonetheless, we're gonna get our artillery guns as close as possible to this shoreline Because I think this shoreline is gonna be a perfect place to bomb the entire place uh, and just be awesome about it As we can see here, I think we can see here, maybe we can see- Oh my god, we don't even have to move actually Well, we, we can't move We don't even have to move this one <laughs> But this two actually do have need, uh, a need, need to get to the shoreline But we should be moving them all three because I prefer it that way it helps me, helps you, and all the good stuff. So, uh, we have bombed the crap out of these positions, but we'll move with this squad here just to see what's happening. Uh, we have a sniper somewhere. I do not know where he is. I have not put him on the number. Oh, yeah, he's here. There's the sniper. There's the bloody thing. We're gonna be moving him uh, onto these positions here. First. You have to know what's happening, where it's happening, who is happening, how it's happening, okay? We destroy those things. I think they do not have any, any kind of support there. There's an infantry support with their freaking Lee Enfields and Brand guns, Stan guns, or whatever they're using anymore. So anyway, the British dudes are evil, aren't you? So just be sure there to know that. So air support is available, which is awesome, of course. We have now a possibility of air support. Uh, still nothing it would seem here. That's totally okay. That means that we have definitely bombed the crap out of the enemy in this position. We should put our soldiers here just to defend this checkpoint before moving down there. Mind you, I'm thinking of moving uh, through this bridge. This bridge looks much more stable uh, than this awesomer bridge of the same kind. Plus, we don't want to lose this bridge. Maybe, I don't know. We don't lose any bridges. Okay, that's cool. Or not cool. Now, I'm gonna be moving my sniper here just to make sure that uh, this shoreline is not being monitored by any of the enemies. And we can actually have a free reign to use our artillery guns as we wish. Mind you, I just want it to be on a shoreline. But it doesn't have to be a shore, maybe here. Just to make just sure that we have everything under control. Uh, squad that is out of the town here. We'll, of course, see what's happening. That, is there anything that's happening out there? That nothing is happening. And nothing. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a crap. So, anyhow, moving on. Again, that, that this mission will give us a new artillery gun, aka the same artillery gun that we have now. The bigger gun, much longer range, as you, as you have seen. That means that we're cool. Yep, cool. Anywho, again, it's definitely clear it would seem. I don't see anything that can trouble us here. But I'm gonna check it out with my Panzer 3E here. I'm gonna put him out there just to check out what's happening here. I'm moving one, two, three, one. Uh, Herzl, the evil Herzl of Herzl Army, is gonna be the, my main scout though. But I'm not using him as a scout much. Anyhow, he's gonna be a stock 3 at some point in his life. So anyway, there definitely isn't anything here that can trouble us. So we're gonna be moving our awesomer, uh, awesomer artillery guns here in this position. I think this is a perfect position to cover the entire area. If nothing else, just you know, be awesome about it. And now moving our artillery guns, uh, my two core units. Uh, I don't know what to do with these guys. And as I said, I'm thinking of moving uh, them all to this bridge. But I want to, of course, we have to take this bridge also. But this, it was, we will have the uh, fire support of the artillery guns. I don't think this is going to be much of a problem. I mean, I can easily just destroy everything, especially with my sniper being able to see everything and without any problem. So I'm going to move my sniper here. First, we're going to destroy what we can the AA guns if we can see them first we're gonna concentrate on AA guns find all AA guns destroy them move on my bombers my bombers will finish the job support my troops on the ground 
you know, be awesome about it. That uh, where is that one more truck? Big, big truck. Okay, guys. Uh, because this in the middle one has the biggest range. I'm gonna put them like this. <coughs> So that uh, finishes that. We can see some evil stuff happening here. A bunch of soldiers, a group of soldiers, that is. We have another group of soldiers here. Again, we won't be able to move between them, so one group must die. Of course, we again have to move this uh, trucks. We're gonna be moving a Panzer 3 e here, uh, just as a support for in case the enemy actually tries to do something very smart. We're moving one soldier group here just to protect what we have. We're gonna stay there. His range is towards the tree. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, turn them around a little bit here. Come on, come on, move it, move it, move it, move it. Uh, we shall use the sniper for nothing. We shall use our soldiers, actually, and my 231 towards, to go towards the warehouse district. District, whatever, the warehouse part. And we're gonna just see what the hell is going on there. Knowing that the enemy actually probably only has a few soldiers, maybe. Of course, they will probably have a humbler, 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 humbler. They're gonna have a Humber. A Humber. And definitely, of course, the A defenses that we need to destroy as quickly as possible. This is an easy mission, actually. The funny thing, it's an easy mission. You know, the, the easy mission, right? Mind you, the hard mission wasn't that hard, just there was this huge amount of tanks. So we got screwed there. Okay, just saying. So my guys will start firing at these positions here. Oh, a massive damage! Just a massive, massive damage there. And we have a Humber MK1. This is perfect. Oh, oh my God! Look at that. He's 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 now an apple tree. My god, man. A massive damage. Someone doesn't get promotion for this kind of stuff. I don't know who will. Let's see. Schweiger. Schweiger 489. Maya is only 301 because he's the newbie. Oh, 968 for our veteran unit. Now we need more sight to what's happening here. Because they can't really shoot much. As we all know with target area ability. So, we're gonna destroy everything here, of course. Uh, the point is to capture the bridges, the bridges of Kazer Booms. And, of course, uh, probably, of course, warehouse with our sniper. Just kill a bunch of soldiers and then move in. There, there is a Humber. And the immediate barrage of our heavier gun, 105 mm. All, all of them are 105. Left <coughs> Left And, of course, K18 and whatever. So I'm definitely thinking that they do have some air gun possibilities in this and this area. I'm definitely thinking because they look very nice for A guns, this and this part. So I'm gonna do this. Just to make sure, guys, just to make sure, uh, destroy those, move in my uh, bombers and just have fun, you know, the good fun, the good fun, the good evil fun where you actually kill people, you know, the good fun. So, of course, looking up on that part, heavy destruction and rain of fire on my battle station, that I actually do not have. That's done. Moving on to this position now. I think well, whoever was here, he's dead now, that's for sure. Uh, heavy bombardment these positions. Of course, uh, yeah, definitely thinking that there is here uh, one A gun buffers or whatever, maybe. If not the heavier version of what they actually have at the warehouses. And of course there is a big shed here. Big shed of evil. It's gonna be destroyed probably. 
And again, we're gonna bomb the crap out of this position. But if they actually did get a kill, they would be like, oh, you got promoted. But maybe, maybe not. Schweiger, Schweiger, 491. Doesn't get anything, as we can see here. Doesn't matter, really. The support will be here, mind you, because I'm gonna be sending my bombers. My Ju 87D bombers, aka the Stukas, but I call them Jews. Because there is a Jew. J U. Yeah. Jew. Now, moving on. From the Jew topic. Uh, okay, so. <coughs> as you all know, I prefer to play with Soviets. But I said, you know what? I, I want to try a little bit of the evilness, you know? Of the evilness, in a little bit. As you can see, the enemy only has a bunch of soldiers in the watchtower. The heavy wickers 12.7 millimeter heavy machine gun, of course, the Humber MK1, and a bunch of other pillboxes that are actually not manned at all. There's another Humber here. We can see what's happening here also. Manja, as you can see, the destruction is actually covers more areas than one, it would seem. Uh, maybe not, no, but this was actually done by my uh, by my Jews and they're gonna be honest about it. By my Stukes. Oh, there is actually one uh, bunker pool of enemy units. And the point, of course, is to capture all the sides and everything, every little thing. Uh, oh, that's totally cool. Now that this area are actually quite clear, maybe. We're gonna be moving on to the warehouses. Get our freaking. I mean, this is an easy mission. It's quite an easy mission. It's just a mission to get more yeah. stuff, you know? Be cool about it and get more stuff. So that we won't be able to use 231 anymore or anything like that because we're gonna totally bombard every single piece of equipment they have here. Uh, maybe maybe this part would be more of suiting because destroy the Humber and get like that kill on him. That would be much. I think more beneficial for us in terms of we get a ranking up for our main artillery guns that will do a huge damage on the hard mission for the stock 3 and I see the penetration value again and nothing actually hit him so it hits him on their holes there and there it goes two heads three two heads only actually quite a bit of mess now what I like that they added in Blitzkrieg 2 is and unit was promoted what I like while adding the Blitzkrieg 2 is the abilities. I like those abilities because they are actually quite cool. Still, we didn't get any shots. I don't know who actually even got the. Uh, 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 we got too close and too greedy. And now 2 3 1 maybe got a promotion. Yes, Herzl. Herzl got promotion. Of course, the enemy here wants to kill us, but of course, their wickers, not wickers, their big heavy boys gun, aka, I, I forgot the freaking name now of it. <laughs> and they have the AA possibility here. Uh, I'm gonna use my artillery to totally demolish the warehouse part. And I mean, I mean that, that's it for them, you know. We get a little bit love here. We're gonna destroy those, get some more promotions. Promotions are good always if you can. Uh, you actually will probably try and destroy this part if this guy is doing their jobs correctly. If you see that you he can because of the stupid tree. As you can see, there are certain problems, as I said, if you got stuck somewhere and you can't really do much. Uh, maybe you can do it here, huh? Verstanden, okay, verstanden. Heavy destruction there. Air support available per usual. I, I, I would say it's much more smarter to use and utilize a much more varied tactic of finding the uh, enemy with the scouts and destroy them, you know. Because again, the point is to get your uh, at least ranking up for your artillery, if nothing else. And I can't believe my friend here killed the Humber. Well, my Panzer 3E actually has problem killing Humbers. Yeah. And we actually have three guys, four guys that survived that heavy combat here. Kind of funny, I guess, if you will. Fall back, fall back, 
Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. I don't have anything to support this. Whoo, damn, that was close. Another Humber all of a sudden be behaved nastily and almost killed everything we had. Damn, our 231 Hertz almost got destroyed there with no support. This is bad stuff for me because uh, I behave like an idiot sometimes. Uh, let's see our battery of, of this vice uh, vice. Oh, we are getting close to 3,500. Not really. Wow, and our guys still got uh, still uh, still all uh, are alive. And you know, I can't believe the uh, the the hurt selection survived that engagement. And we were running down like nobody's better. It was like, holy shit, another one, another Humber. We killed one and they only wanted like one is enough. But no, it would seem that it is not enough. And we got that under control. Warehouse is done. Jesus, that was very close. Very, very bad stuff right there. Uh, very bad stuff. Oh man, I didn't expect that to happen, mind you. That was just really, really ridiculously evil. Of course. Now, what should we do? I mean, I can go towards this uh, part here with my uh, two main core units. I didn't really get any kind of action. I mean, just a little bit here. You know, uh, totally okay, I guess. But still, you know, I, I expect a little bit more fighting there. You know, let's say, of course, we barely survived that with my uh, my uh, Herzl, Herzl, yeah, Herzl, uh, my two, three, one Herzl got a ranking though he got a ranking before anyone else that's actually quite freaking good that's good so we're very close to ending this level of awesome and winning our battles against the evil British no, I forget to use the attack and move command because, you know, that tends to happen to me a lot in this game. At least until I get actually a little bit more know-how what the hell is going on with the hotkeys and all the evil stuff. Now, let's see what's happening under the bridge. Under the bridge! Again, we're gonna be using the FI fee fee 156 uh, Storch Storch There definitely isn't anything here it would seem I'm gonna move them just to uh, keep an eye What's gonna happen down there? Maybe there are more soldiers or Humbers We shall find uh, soon enough Now we're gonna be owning uh, some evils, uh, more of the Humbers there. There are two Humbers still alive, I think. Maybe. Yeah, there is one Humber, a bunch of men here. They can easily get some kind of damage on these bastards. And there goes one Humber. That's a nice skill. I mean, reality-wise, you get more uh, XP, of course, for killing uh, bigger targets. Um, at least I guess that's true. You know, maybe it's not. You know that that's cool. Anyhow, uh, there is absolutely nothing else I think here that ich can hier. actually be evilishly evil. Yeah, nothing. We can move in with two, three, one Herzl, and still not even a kill on one of the Humber. 
that was the only one that actually is alive still. Come on, one kill, one just pure nice shot. Get my ranking up for oh my awesome 105s and get another 105 K18. I don't have to get any closer. I mean, if the one K K10, K18, K10 or K K18 gets like a huge range that they have, I mean. What do you need else, you know? That's just awesome in its own. You don't have to move from your main positions at the very beginning of the map. That means if the enemy actually has a smaller caliber gun, and much of, you know, and you would expect, especially at the beginning of the fucking game, I guess the enemy doesn't really have much. But remember that at the beginning, the beginning that is, at the very start of the game, usually are, uh, well, as the Germans, I guess, are more in the, how should I say, possibility of killing the enemy is much easier and you don't expect them to attack you like we have seen what happened when they attacked us and we lost immediately everything so just imagine if they actually had anything at the beginning even if we are playing at hard mind you again i'm left to mind you we're playing at hard you know that's pure evil right there so we're attacking with our oh, lechman lechman is gonna get some kills now, uh, it's not good to have like five tanks behind it because if you want to fall back because of some bunch of idiots want to grenade your tank because you're not too smart. And there you go. Uh, I think they want to try to kill us with the with the boys rifle, but I think they don't have it. No, no boys rifle, only the Enfield rifles there. Let the Lachman have fun a little bit and capture the railway station. That's done. That's awesome. We can we can capture the red. Oh wait, wait, oh my God! There is a Humber going towards our positions. Uh, oh! Not cool, dude. Come on, you can survive. Okay, he gave up on a, on the prospect of killing the awesome sniper that has mostly damaged everything they have because he has a nice look of the world. And some asshole is actually now sending my me a Skype messages because he's an asshole probably. Stupid bugs. Just kidding, of course. Yeah, good people, not really. They're evil, actually. But you know, I hate that. You know, I fr always forget fucking to lower the Skype shit. Honestly, it's like the evilest thing ever. Uh, because we don't have much of a support from anything else, aka um, more of the same, I guess. I'm gonna send my bombers and let finish the rest and just take the freaking thing with no, you know, not many problems attached to it. Of course, I can just roll my stuff that I do actually have, like Panzer 3. That is not my core unit, mind you. Get some kills on that one, but that's not the point. You have to need, you need kills to experience, as we all know by now. One billion time I said that, but again, you need it. It's not like okay, well, let's have it just for the fuck of it, you know. But you need the freaking thing if you want to actually take, you know, like win. And of course, now my uh, Jews are gonna look for the uh, for the freaking um, the thingy, the Humber that is still alive somewhere. I don't know where, mind you, but it's alive. I honestly don't know where the Humber could have gone. With all honesty, uh, he went to the left, I think. So I think I will go to the left also. I mean, I have a bunch of stuff alongside with Panzer 3 that is not my core unit, of course. And, you know, like, see what the hell is happening out there in the world. You know, they have the, uh, have a know-how what the hell is going on around this entire railway station, whatever it is. Remember the point again is for me to just kill, rape, and pillage and finish the mission. And finish the mission we will. <coughs> okay. So, wow, we're actually excellent here. we done everything. Tactics gone by 8. Uh, logistics gone by 7, 10 on caution. Training 5. And, of course, we are to war. 
We got that also. We only still have only two medals of awesome. We're we getting very close, not really, only the 29% for a major that we are now. Nonetheless, nobody cares. Units lost. Nobody. I, I was scared shitless. I was like looking at this and then I see the what the fuck. Oh, my, my heart just stopped <laughs> for a moment. <laughs> so we have a cave uh, 18. We're gonna see who is the closest. 598. Yeah, 598. We're gonna go with him. Uh, considering yourselves in the last three missions, to High Command recommends that you attempt to clean the current chapter by selling the historical mission. No. Uh, okay, so we go with for another uh, KAT-105, can ga gain another Panzer three, and of course get for the Stag. Uh, yeah, but again, as you can see, the mission actually changes now. We don't have to, like, there's like, billions of car uh, enemy vehicles in the village, so, you know, you can do the good stuff here. I just go with the great stuff that is getting more stuff. So we're gonna go on for another K-18, we just need another one. Uh, and you know, just get that easy again. Uh, this is pretty standard operation. Secure a small town, be of enemy infantry buildings. Don't hesitate to, uh, to level any of the structures there. Secure the nearby village and warehouse. That's it. This is this is gonna be definitely an easier one. And you know what? You know what? I'm gonna save here. Uh, uh, where's the save? There, where's the save? Save game. I'm just gonna save again for in case of awesome. Yes. Yes. Okay. So all best to you. Be good. Be evil. Whatever. Uh, you know. Whatever. See you next time. Good stuff.